just colored Japanese origami paper, but you can do this with any paper. A lot of the origami designs start with a square. So we're gonna start with these little squares and I'm gonna show you my favorite ever origami. Super easy, super fun. So you're gonna fold it in half. Now open it and then fold it in half the other way. This will give you some little crease lines. Okay, now open it up. Pick, it, pick one of the corners and you're gonna move it up to touch the center and fold it. Turn it around and do that to the other side. Okay, you with me? Here we go, we got this going on. Now let's turn it to the other corner and you're gonna fold up just a little bit past so you've, you're overlapping your other triangles. Do you, are y'all starting to see something that looks familiar? Look at that. Okay, now you can kind of curl this little flap over right here like that. Just a little bit. All right, now I am going to turn this into an envelope. You can fold it down as much as you want. This same design can be used with fabric to make a sandwich wrap. And we do, uh, we make beeswax wraps, but you guys could make your own beeswax wrap if you're interested in that. You put your sandwich in it, you fold it, you fold this up every day, and you put your sandwich right in here. Of course, you use a bigger square, but it's the same idea. And then you've got a sandwich bag that you can use over and over and over. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do a few more little origamis. There's millions of options of origami. Um, but I wanted to tell you that the background of origami goes back again to Japan. Um, so this is now considered a hobby, but of course it is a very long traditional craft in Japan and more recently, scientists and engineers and mathematicians are using origami for conceptual ideas and to visualize, create prototypes of what spaceships or different scientific methods or little robots that might perform surgery would look like. So if you guys find some cool ones, share them with us. So right now, I am going to show you how to make a butterfly, and I really like this. So. You're going to start with your piece of paper, and one of the most common folds is where you fold it in half. I think it's called a valley fold. So you will do that. And we're using our six by six, six inch squares, but you can use any square, okay? Now turn it over, and let's fold it again. We're going to fold it a little bit backwards, and try to, doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get your, um, points clear and try to press a nice crease. That'll help you later. All right, so you've got it open. Now let's turn it over again and we're going to fold it in half this way this time, okay? Okay, so and then fold it again this way. So basically, let's go through what you've done. All right, you folded it this way, and you folded it this way. You folded it this way, and you folded it this way. So now we have all these creases in here. That's gonna help us create the next fold. All right, so this, in, this one is kind of fun and tricky at the same time. See the, these X ones, we're going to, we are going to pull those. Kind of have to work with it a little bit. Okay, so again, the lines that make the X, kind of work those up so that they're bending this way. That's a lot of it is about origami is making creases and then finding a way to get it to work the way you want. Okay, so now we've got that. And what I like to do is kind of gently press where I want it to be. Make sure I got it right. And then 
then lay it down and go ahead and press it down. So what you've got, and take your time, pause the video if you need to. So you've got a triangle on the front and a triangle on the back and you have these little wings on these sides, right? Okay, now turn your paper over and this, this fold is called judgment curve fold. So you're going to make parts of your butterfly that every, all of you will make different, different folds. So the, the first folds we've all made together, but this next fold you're going to make just kind of be a little creative with that. So with the triangle pointing towards you, start at the top in the middle and you want to fold it and then give it, you want a little bits to stick out here. So that's how I'm going to fold mine. It's like that. All right. And now we're going to do that on the other side. Start at the point here at the fold and try to make it kind of match what you did on this other side. That's Don't fold them all, just fold the first two down and then hold your little butterfly and we're going to give it a little bit of a crease, okay? So you're going to actually fold this part up, this part up so that it comes over the top just a little bit and you're going to fold it over tight. See how I did that? Okay, show you again. Here's what we had. Turn it over. I like to hold it kind of right here. Fold it up to the middle right here. Fold that over. All right, you got that? We're gonna squeeze it together like this. Look how pretty that is. That's it. You kind of fold your wings back a little bit. There you go. So take your time with that and pause the video if you need to, okay? All right, now we're gonna make a little fish. See how it looks? The back is folded to make the visual of the front little fins. So this one will do the same. We're going to fold it the valley fold first this way. And then we're going to open it up and do it again this way. And then we're going to fold it across this way. So we did this on the last one. It's just kind of a nice starter for quite a few origami pieces. All right, now, okay, so we've got folded here to here, here to here, and we folded them like this. So let's go ahead and fold it in half like that. And you have these little openings right here. So what you're going to do is pull it this way, see that? See how I pulled it away to make it pull away from the main square? This, this point pulls away and we've got a triangle. Turn it over and we're going to do that again with the other square. It looks kind of funny because you've got your square and your triangle, but you're going to pull the triangle, leave this part down, pull the triangle over. There you go. We have kind of what we had last time. We're going to actually fold it so that it crosses this way to give an angle. So point at the top, 
This is where you make your own judgment. How do you want your fish to look? And let's make the other one go down. You just don't want to, you're just going to have to experiment with this a little bit. And there you got it. to make this little cicada um, which is a little insect and it's one of the traditional um, origami creations that they make so kind of have a weird angle have my bird in the studio today but you've got let's, you've got your marbling paper so let let me show you how to make a square out of that so you're gonna basically fold it down I don't know if you want the white edges I think they're they would be cool but let's just say you didn't you would fold a triangle and then cut around that area and that will give you a square. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I think it would be really fun to use your, once you've got a few of your origami techniques down, it'd be fun for you to use your marbling paper. So now for this little insect, and it's really fun to do tons of them, that repetition of origami is fun. So fold it in half. Then you're going to fold it in half again. Whoops, I'm not right on the point. I don't know why. Let me do that again. I want to be on the point. My square is a little bit off. That's all right. Okay, now I'm going to fold this down along the crease here. Both sides. Okay, you got that. Triangle and then fold it down. All right. Now these are gonna be the little wings that hang down. So you're gonna want this edge, fold it down where that edge is flush, and then you'll just have to decide how much you want, where, how you want your wings to hang down. Okay, this side, you're gonna have it go there and match this side. So look down here and make sure it looks the way you want. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. It'll still look really cool. Okay, see mine isn't perfect. All right, now I'm gonna take the first layer of this top and fold it down. Um, it doesn't have to be all the way. It's nice, you're, you're gonna want a little bit of a um, edge right here. So just bring your point down to this line there. And then have your next one go down to make a little layer there. So you have contrast. We have these lines here. Okay. Feel free to um, pause if you need to. Okay, so you've still got your crease you made. Now turn it over. And this part is a little bit tricky, but you're going to fold this over to the line. So I'm paying attention to how far over I am right here, and just go to the line. So I want that to be the same on both sides, right here. Okay, it's starting to look like something. There we go. Ta-da! And you've got your marbled cicada. Okay, I can't wait to see the pictures of what you guys make.